There's two ways to learn a lesson, the hard way and the hardest way. There's no easy way to learn a lesson. You have to learn the hard way. When I was 15, my first job was carrying boxes of fish from 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. and I would run to work. So I'd leave the house at six, I'd run an hour, I'd get there at seven, I'd finish work at five, and then I'd run from there to the fight gym, get to the fight gym. I'd get there early before training started. I'd eat food next to the gym and then I'd train and then I would get a ride home from my girlfriend at the time. So my entire life was 17 hours a day of just running and working and carrying boxes and fighting. And I can't be more thankful. You know, I don't wanna be arrogant, but I'm going to. I really do believe I've had the perfect life. Now, I don't know if that's actually because I have the perfect life or if I framed it that way, but I am so thankful for everything. I'm so glad I got to grow up poor because I wouldn't appreciate money if I didn't. And I'm so glad I got to spend my 20s, my, that decade where you're as powerful as possible fighting. And I'm so glad I've had difficult jobs and no money. And I'm so glad I couldn't pay my bills so that I appreciate now all the money I have. And I'm so glad I had the parents I had. And I'm so glad all these bad things happened to me, but enough good things happened. And I just really feel like it's been the perfect path. And I think back on that job, I think back on how my life was back then, and I, I realized that I wouldn't appreciate any of the things I have now without them. There's absolutely no light without dark. The best thing about being rich is talking about how you used to be poor. Otherwise, it's no point being rich at all. You may, you're not gonna enjoy any of it. You're gonna end up addicted to drugs and doing crazy stuff, yep, right? Yep. The reason I'm so happy, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I'm happy every day, I'm pretty emotionally balanced, is because I wake up in a big house and I realize that I don't have to worry about rent the next day and everything's fine. So I, I I think being rich is as good as I imagined it to be yeah. when I was poor. And I truly enjoy it, but I would have never appreciated the money if I didn't have the poor side of it. I really think in many ways, I've almost had the perfect life. I'm so glad, even going to jail was fantastic. I, I, I'm so glad that these things happened to me. Now, I don't know, as a professional, when I analyze these things, I often th sit and think, is that objectively true? Have I had the best life with all different sides of the spectrum, all the barriers of the parameter, because there is no light without dark. To have, grow up around stabbings and to, to, to be stabbed myself and to have, grow up around drug dealers and to grow up in a terrible area and then to be rich and fly my Bugatti on A380s to different countries so I can flex. Like, is my life really the best life possible or have I just framed it that way? I don't know. I'm sure there's people out there who perhaps had a better life You've than me. you programmed your subconscious mind. Well, maybe there's people who've had a better life than me, right? There's people who've had deeper darks and, and lighter lights, and they've had a, a wider spectrum of experiences, and perhaps they've had a better life, but they may not think that because maybe their mind is not programmed to see it that way. Perhaps what you should do as a man is to view your life the same way. Irregardless, you should sit and wake, and wake up and say, God has given me the best possible journey on this planet. Of the 8 billion people, mine is the best. I got to see this, this bad thing happened to me, that was fantastic. This terrible thing happened, that was an interesting time. This good thing happened, this girl loves me for some reason, my life's amazing. Perhaps you should view your life as the best possible life, perhaps that's the best way to be competitive. I don't know if it needs to even be objectively true for it to be effective. It's your story, it's, it's your, your reality, story. right? So it doesn't even have to be objectively, objectively true for it to be effective. However, in my scenario, I truly believe that I have lived the best life. And I truly believe the best years of my life have not happened yet, and they're gonna come. And I truly believe that my story is gonna be one of the best stories ever. I always knew the answer to everything is raw action. Yeah. The answer to everything has always been raw action. My dad had a tweet about this. He said that raw action solves all. And he used to say this, I'll give you an example. If you're a farmer and you need rain for your crop and there's no rain, you can sit there and say, there's no rain, we're all gonna starve. Or you can stand up and do a rain dance. Now, will your rain dance work? Perhaps not. Perhaps the rain won't come, but I would argue that you're better off standing up doing that rain dance than just sitting there waiting to die. You have to do something. Raw action solves. So when I was broke, I was never like, ah, I'm poor, I'm poor, what do I do? It was, I'm poor, what must, I have to do something. I'll just, if I was broke, I'd go for a run. That's why I was such a great fighter. If I was broke, I'd sit there and go, I'm actually poor. How do I make money? Don't know. How can I make, can, where can I get some cash? Don't know. What work can I do? Don't know. Oh, I'll just go for a run then. And I'd just go for a three mile run. Well, I have to do something. I can't just sit still and die. A lot of people are happy to just sit still and die or jerk off and go to sleep and take a nap. Well, if that's what you want to do, then you can say a loser. That's fine. I'm glad there are losers because if everyone had Lamborghinis, my Lamborghini wouldn't be fun to show off. I need you to look at it and feel the deep pain in your heart of regret and failure. That's the whole point of it. I need to drive my Bugatti and everyone be looking at it going, I'll never have one of those. <laughs> get all their energy and feel it all. And it makes me happy. Fantastic. So you can sit at home and do nothing. But when I was poor, I had to go for a run. I couldn't sit still or lift weights or do something. I couldn't even sleep. So raw action solves everything. And I understood that at a young age. 
But as you get older, you get to look back and you get to put your whole story together, the whole tapestry together. I knew I wouldn't stay poor. Did I ever think I'd get this rich? Well, I never said I wouldn't, but did I ever, th ever think it would probably happen at this level? No, but it's amazing how the compounding interest of just endless raw action adds up. I've never had a lazy day. I've never skipped work, never missed an email, never never had a day off, ever, ever. You name the life, if you were to go through the last three years of my life, you will see that there's never been a day where I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. And it all just adds up and then monumental success comes and you get to laugh at everybody else, ha ha ha. And, and life's great. But I really believe God's given me one of the best lives and I can't complain about anything bad that's happened. It's all been fantastic. I'm, I'm truly thankful for all of it. I think that as humans, especially as men, we only learn the hard way anyway. There's two ways to learn a lesson, the hard way and the hardest way. There's no easy way to learn a lesson. You have to learn the hard way. So God gives us lessons via difficulty. He thinks you need to learn this about yourself or this about other people. So I'm gonna give you a difficult time so you can learn your lesson. Because if I told you, if I just said, hey, Andrew, this is how the world works. You go, yeah, yeah. But when I show you, when you feel it, my fight coach used to say, you have to feel it to believe it. That's why he, if he, he was teaching low kicks, he'd, he'd kick your leg off. Because you don't believe in the power of a low kick. You don't believe a low kick can be so devastating unless you felt it. You have to feel it to believe it. So God will give you a difficult time so you learn your lessons. And the lessons are very important for you to be the person who you need to be in this life. He's the best of planners. And I'm thankful for all the lessons he's given me. He's bestowed knowledge upon me. I would be, how could I not be grateful to God for making me so intelligent and wise and the ability to look into things so deeply and come up to the right decision and basically predict the future perfectly? How did I know they were all gonna arrest me? How did I know how the world works? You have to have difficulty happening to you all the time. So when you sit and say, I want an easy life, what you're saying is you, you're a dummy and you wanna be a dummy. You wanna stay a dummy. I want an easy life and I don't want anything bad to happen to me because even though it will teach me lessons, I'm too big of a, I can't handle the emotional pain. I can't handle the stress. So you wanna stay a dummy. I don't wanna be a dummy, I wanna be smart. If I wanna be smart, then hurt me. 